Hello Planning Mashers and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here and love all the things planning, bullet journaling and creativity, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you always know when I release a new video. Now, pandemic kind of turned everything upside down and I do need more structure in my life, especially in my working life. So today we are going to be setting up my work bullet journal. Usually my bullet journal for work is just a bunch of brain dumps and ideas and it's not very organized, but I think it's time to get more organized and well, here are the pages I will be using. As always, all the supplies I'm using will be linked in the description. Now let's get to planning. My first spread I'm creating is my ideal day spread. Now, I feel like this is probably one of the most impactful spreads I will be making today because as somebody who is working from home by myself, it's very easy to get distracted by things and just not be at my best. But as long as I have planned, I can easily follow through and well, achieve the goals I set for myself. And this spread is created to make sure that I have a plan and I follow the plan. Now think of how you are when you're working in the office. You have certain working hours, you have certain goals, certain things you have to do, and you also try to find time in your day to spend with your family and to do things that you like. Well, basically my ideal day is the working schedule. Only because I am working for myself, I actually have a wonderful advantage of creating whatever schedule I see fit. So as you can see, in my schedule, I managed to include so many wonderful things. It's not just work. I also managed to include tons of fun activities. Like I have an hour or two after lunch where I spend on learning and improving my creativity skills because I know usually time after lunch is kind of a slow time if you would and my brain is kind of a little bit sleepy so I thought it's kind of a nice time to practice things like lettering or doodling something that doesn't require a lot of brain activity and once I'm done with that I will feel a little bit more productive more awake so I could actually start learning and reading. You might notice that for this spread I also color coded my activities. I love color coding and I feel like it's a great help to visually understand information. So I decided to edit here because this is a very visual spread.
next spread I'm creating is based on the idea of batching. So the concept is that you put together similar tasks and you do it at once. For example, to take my Instagram pictures, I need to clear out my table, put up my lights, put up my camera, and it's not very possible to do that just for one picture. It's like 10 minutes of preparation just for one picture. Doesn't sound very productive. But if I put it together and I take all my pictures at the same time, now that sounds more productive. Plus, since I already have all my equipment ready, at the same day, I might as well uh, film my YouTube videos. That way I kind of spend less time setting things up and more time actually doing things. And my goal here with this spread is to assign certain days to certain tasks. This also is going to help me to not feel overwhelmed and feel like I have to do everything at once because I will have certain days to do certain things, which means that I can just relax, let it go and concentrate on whatever is the main thing for that day. This is an August setup. So the next spread is my August monthly. Unlike in my usual bullet journal where in my monthly spread I would write some deadlines and events and birthdays, this monthly log is just my content plan. This is one of the reasons why I am creating a very, very big traditional calendar spread because it allows me to write a lot on each daily box and since it's my content plan, I do have a lot of content and I have a blog, I have an Instagram, I have Patreon and there are a few more things that I'm doing. So it's pretty useful for me to have enough space to be able to add all the content I want to put out there in this plan. It also is going to be my kind of a working plan. For example, I know that I have to post my blogs at certain dates. So I can actually use this to kind of assign which days I will be writing the blog posts, which days I will be creating the images and kind of stuff like that. So it's my huge monthly overview content plan kind of spread. I feel like even if you're not into blogging, this might be a very useful spread to have because whatever job you're doing, you always have some deadlines and you also probably have tons of different types of tasks. So it would be useful to kind of have a spread like that and plan out your month in advance. But of course, you have to be always, always flexible because you never know how things might turn out and you know, life is unpredictable. So don't get too caught up on following your plan. Make all your plans adjustable. My next spread is basically my content ideas, kind of a brain dump. The way I use it is that each month or months in two months, because sometimes I come up with too many ideas, I would sit down and I would write down different ideas I get for different areas of my business. So my blog post ideas, YouTube video ideas and stuff like that. And this is what I do before I create a content plan because I want to see what ideas I have and which ones work the best for that month before I start assigning them to a content plan. Next page is for my Instagram content. I do have tons of bullet journal pages to post and sometimes I get just so lost in that. But that's why I want to have this spread where I will have all the spreads I have pictures of so when I need to post something I can just look here and pick from one of these 
the final page is for my goals and I think it's actually another very 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 important spread to have so first of all I'm gonna set my main goal which is my monthly focus what is the one most important thing I have to do that month and then I have some sprays to write down my other kind of little goals and little milestones I want to reach next section is my achievements because even if I don't cover all my goals I know that I still moved and I still a step closer to getting what I want so I want to be sure that I kind of praise myself and give myself credit for doing things and finally I have a little kind of overview page with the things I can do better for next month I hope you guys enjoyed this video and before I go I wanted to thank all my patrons for their undying support Thank you guys, you are the best. And I will see you in the next video. Keep bullet journaling and don't be a blob. Bye!